Okay, here's my little addition to my uh, automated scrapper factory. Scrap factory. <laughs> it really is that hard. Um, okay, all you need is two liquid tesseracts. Think. And two chunk loaders. And what you're gonna do is. Oh, yeah, and the tank, of course. Now place down your tank. Uh, you'll need liquid. liquid ducts. Not liquid ducts, but liquid ducts. Um, and you place down your chunk loader first, and it's usually set to two, radius two. I'll just put it down to one. Uh, you go select show lasers, and you make sure that your tank, your all your stuff is within that chunk, which this one is by a long shot. Then you place down your tesseract in the overworld, and you give it a frequency. That means that this is going to be the frequency, it's going to be communicating to all the other task racks that you might build. Okay, so I set it to 5, no apparent reason, and called it lava. So I then saved it down here. Okay, so normally when you place down a task rack, there is nothing in here. This is blank, so you can give this names and a number, and then you're good. Okay, now... The other thing I did is I set it to receive only, just to make sure that it's not backfeeding. The redstone control I set, yeah, so you don't need a torch or a lever or anything. You can turn it on and off right here. Okay. The chunk lord we talked to, the liquid duct, you do not want to alter. There is an in-out setting you can do, but just don't do it. Because, I don't know, they're kind of glitchy. So just leave them, you place them and you're done. Okay, place them on the tank first, and then the Tesseract. Um, then we go to the Nether, so obviously you need another portal anywhere. And you'll need an engine of any kind, and ideally, if you have an energy cell, you're done. Just place down the energy cell on a normal pump, and this is it. This thing will last forever. The pump needs so little, I, do, I think you can forget about this cell completely. Anyway, you place your second liquid tesseract down and then you pick your um, your preset from here, or remember the frequency, punch in the frequency, because uh, I didn't point that out. See, it says device inactive, I punch in 5, set frequency, so this is what it communicates on right now. And then I set this thing to send only, which you do right here. Okay. And then the chunk loader again. I'm sitting right in this chunk here. And this is it. This is all you need. And then you get unlimited lava from the nether into your tank. Shit, you could make an iron tank and have like a bazillion liters of lava in there. Geothermal generators, I think still the best energy source. Heck, if you wanted to, you could make... <sighs> Tons, 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 tons of those things. You'll never run out. And this is basically it. As simple as that. You need a lot of ender eyes. I didn't even look at how many. Uh, one for the chunk loader. Yeah, you need the liquid transposer. Diamond, hardened glass, this is about the most expensive part too, is the hardened glass. Like, th it takes quite a bit to make this, it's not that simple, okay, just placing this is fine and dandy, but, yeah, actually, getting here, it's a little bit of work, but you want hardened glass anyway, so, yeah, there you go.